Marine scientists conducted one of the most disturbing experiments ever done in the deep ocean. They took three dead alligators and dropped them to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, more than 6,600 feet deep. What happened next defied all expectations and revealed terrifying mysteries about creatures that inhabit a world where sunlight never reaches. The third alligator simply vanished in just eight days. 80 pounds of pure muscle and bone, covered by one of nature's toughest hides, evaporated without a trace. When the scientists returned to the site, they found only a depression in the seafloor sediment and drag marks indicating that something of colossal size had carried the carcass away. The rope that secured the alligator had been cut cleanly, as if a guillotine had sliced through it. But before we reveal what happened to that third alligator, we need to understand what the scientists discovered with the other two. Because each one met a completely different fate, each more surprising than the last. The team of marine biologists from the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium had a simple hypothesis when they started this experiment. Alligators occasionally venture into ocean waters, either searching for food or because they were flushed out by storms and hurricanes. When they die far from shore, their bodies sink to the abyssal depths. The question was, what would the creatures of the seafloor do with this unexpected gift? The researchers expected that the extremely tough hide of alligators would work as a natural barrier. They thought the carcasses would remain intact for weeks, maybe months. They were completely wrong. The first alligator was devoured in less than 24 hours. Underwater cameras captured images that looked like something out of a horror movie. Dozens of gigantic creatures, the size of a football, completely covered the reptile's body. They were giant isopods, distant cousins of those little pill bugs you find under rocks in your garden. Except these were about 16 inches long and had 14 legs equipped with sharp claws. The videos show these creatures tearing through the alligator's hide with terrifying ease, ripping off enormous chunks of flesh in a feeding frenzy. Their giant compound eyes glowed in the darkness, reflecting the light from the cameras. And what's most impressive is that these animals can go years without eating. When they find food, they gorge themselves until they're so bloated they can barely move. These giant isopods are true survivors of the deep. They live in a world of total darkness where water pressure is so great it would crush a human being instantly. The water temperature is near freezing. Food is extremely scarce at these depths, so when something falls from the upper world, whether it's the carcass of a whale, a fish, or an alligator, it's like a feast from heaven for these starving creatures. The second alligator met an even stranger fate. When the scientists returned to the site 51 days later, they found only a completely clean skeleton. All the flesh had disappeared, but the bones were still there, in the same position the alligator was left in. But the skeleton wasn't alone. Covering the bones, there was a kind of light brown fuzz, almost like mold. When the researchers examined it more closely, they discovered it wasn't a fungus. It was something much more fascinating and sinister. They were bone-eating vorms, a completely new species to science. These vorms, scientifically known as OZX, are bizarre creatures that literally eat bones. They have no mouth, no stomach, no intestines. Instead, they developed root-like structures that penetrate deep into the bones, secreting acid to dissolve them. But the strangest part is yet to come. Only the females of these vorms grow and attach to bones. The males are microscopic, hundreds of times smaller than the females, and live inside their bodies. A single female can harbor a harem of 50 to 600 microscopic males inside her body. This was the first time Ozedax vorms were found in the Gulf of Mexico. And it was the first time in history these vorms were seen consuming reptile bones. Now we arrive at the mystery that left scientists speechless, the third alligator. When the team returned to the site just eight days after leaving it on the ocean floor, there was simply nothing there. The researchers scoured the area with the remotely operated vehicle cameras. 
Eventually, they found the rope that had secured the alligator, about 30 feet away from the original spot. The rope was completely severed, as if it had been bitten by something with brutal force. But before we reveal which creature was capable of doing this, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next videos about the deepest mysteries of our planet. Believe me, you won't want to miss what's coming. So what could have dragged an 80-pound alligator away, cut through a tough rope with its teeth, and carried all of that across the ocean floor? Scientists believe it was deep-sea sharks. Specifically, Greenland sharks or six-gill sharks. The Greenland shark is a legendary creature. They can live for more than 400 years, making them the longest-lived vertebrate known to science. Imagine, a shark that was born before the Industrial Revolution could still be swimming through the ocean depths at this very moment. These sharks grow slowly, able to reach more than 20 feet in length and weigh more than a ton. They're slow swimmers, earning the nickname Sleeper Sharks, but don't be fooled by their sluggish appearance. When necessary, they can explode in surprising bursts of speed to capture their prey. What makes the Greenland shark even more impressive is its diet. They eat practically anything, from fish and squid to seals, and even pieces of whales. Greenland sharks have been found with entire reindeer in their stomachs. The six-gill shark is equally fascinating. As the name suggests, it has six pairs of gill slits instead of the five pairs common to most sharks. They can grow to almost 16 feet in length and are efficient nocturnal predators. Both species are perfectly capable of biting through a rope and dragging an entire alligator. Their jaws are equipped with sharp teeth designed to tear off large chunks of flesh. What this experiment revealed goes beyond just showing who eats what in the depths. It demonstrated how life on the ocean floor is adaptable and opportunistic. These creatures live in one of the most hostile environments on the planet, where there's no sunlight, the pressure is crushing, the temperature is freezing, and food is extremely scarce. Each fall of a large dead animal creates a temporary oasis of life. Hundreds of different species benefit from these food falls, from microscopic bacteria to giant sharks. It's a natural recycling cycle that keeps the entire deep-sea ecosystem functioning. This experiment also reminds us how much we still don't know about the deep ocean. Only about 5% of the ocean floor has been explored. Who knows what other extraordinary creatures are down there, waiting to be discovered. So the next time you look at the ocean, remember that below that calm blue surface exists a world of darkness inhabited by creatures that seem alien where the battle for survival happens in slow motion, and where even an 80-pound alligator can disappear without a trace in just 8 days. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like and turn on notifications. And right below, I left a gift video for you that will surprise you even more. See you next time.